Meteorologist Shay Sorensen for a look at your traffic and weather together. Shay, I know you love this space stuff. It's the yeah, best, isn't it? very exciting and exciting to see what the future holds for you know our missions to the moon. Very cool stuff. All right, current times this morning, it's cold. You know, not as cold as on the moon, of course, but we are in the 30s and 40s right now. Very chilly out there. Bundle up. You know, you've heard me say it every single morning this week. You got to wear the layers because it is very cold out there. And hopefully you're still protecting those four P's, people, pets, plants, and pipes. You'll want to do that pretty much every single morning, especially if you're waking up right in here in that Sulphur Springs Valley in Cochise County. Back down to the upper 20s in Wilcox, just barely above freezing in Benson and in Tombstone. Sitting right around 39 in Douglas, 41 in Portal and in Bisbee, and around 27 in Sassabee. So here's look, uh, a look at what you need to grab today. Of course, we've got a lot of sunshine on tap once it comes up, but it is going to be cold this morning, so you got to have the thick coat on. The gloves too. Also, of course, the sunglasses, tons of sunshine on tap today, and maybe the hairspray, especially if you live to the east of Tucson and Cochise County. It's going to be a little bit breezy for you all this afternoon, and the rest of us should join in later on tonight into early tomorrow morning. So the wind will pick up a little bit as the day goes on. Today's forecast highs mainly in the 60s today. Of course, yesterday we pushed into the 70s for the warmest spots. Not the case today, and that's all thanks to a system passing by to the north. That's what's bringing the wind later on today and also cooling us down a little bit more. So we're several degrees below normal for this time of year. Again, upper 60s for the warmest spots. To the south and east, mainly in the 50s today. Right around 60, though, for Douglas. 61 in Benson. Same deal in Safford. Here's a look at that system, area of low pressure, kind of near San Diego right now, Southern California. That's going to move towards the east as we work our way throughout the day today, so that's why the wind will gradually pick up. Temperatures, though, of course, being impacted. But when it comes to your trash can wind meter, I still expect most of them to stand tall. We're just looking at gusts between 20 and potentially up to 30 miles per hour. The higher end will definitely be out towards the east of Tucson. So if you live in Cochise County, we could have some gusts around 30 miles per hour. So you'll probably want to secure loose objects if you live there. Uh, meanwhile, here in Tucson to the west, the wind isn't going to be that strong. So most of the trash cans should stand tall over the next 24 hour period. So a little breezy tonight into the first half of tomorrow. The wind dies down. High temps back in the upper 60s with tons of sunshine. And here's just a quick look at the future pattern. High pressure staying well to the west of us. Us. That's where all the warm temps are. Uh, and then we have a few more systems that are going to roll past us as we work our way towards the weekend. So that's going to reinforce the colder air. So even by Saturday, temperatures are going to stay on the cooler side. So if you are heading to the Arizona home football game, tailgate's actually going to be cold because kickoff isn't until noon. So 48 degrees during the morning, potentially even colder if you plan on tailgating before 9 a.m. Mid 60s for kickoff. And then by the second half, beautiful 68 with lots of sunshine. But depending on what side of the stadium you sit on, some of you are going to be in the shade. So have that jacket on hand just in case. Lots of sunshine for the next seven days, 60s and 70s for the highs, overnight lows in the 30s and 40s. That is a check of weather. Now let's go ahead and take a look.